Hello everybody, Patricia here, and welcome back to Virtue's Last Reward, part of the Notary Games Collection. Last time, we found out the shock reveal here in Phi's ending, that Sigma was actually Zero, Zero Senior, were actually his mind, his 22, 23 year old mind, was in the body of his 60 something year old body. And that body was actually Zero Signior, himself in the future. <laughs> and now, uh, Akane stabbed, stabbed Sigma, and now we're heading back into the way, way past. To April 13, 2029, to the headquarters of some sort. This could possibly be the final episode, not sure, depending on the title of the video or something like that. But, anyways, let us get into it. Let us try and finish the game. Yes, let us jump to 2029. About a year? Is it? I think a year after the the, the stuff. Anyway, let, let's go. Let's go. Today is April thirteenth, two thousand twenty-nine, and this is the evening news. Unfortunately, I. I'm sorry. I don't have any news to read. All of our station's reporters have, have passed after contracting Radical Six. So have my... Excuse me. I've managed to keep us on the air until now. But I'm out of tricks. It's time for me to sign off. This concludes our broadcast day. I pray that someday our world can be cleansed of this horrible plague. Goodbye. Oh, you know, uh, technically, uh, that was it would still be continuing to air because there is no one on the cameras and all that, so it would still be airing until like the batteries die or something, or the electricity goes out. So, yeah, that static w would not be there. <laughs> For a moment, I just stared at the TV. The roar of the static seemed to fill the entire room until with a click it disappeared too. Had the power gone out? I heard footsteps behind me and turned around. You. Akane? It looks like the first step was successful. And here is another change from uh, the original Virtuous Last War to this. They actually redubbed Akane's voice to fit, uh, to match up what was in 999 and in Zero Time Dilemma. So this is her, her voice actress. And uh, if I can look this up. I think I'm trying to find it on the Zero Escape website. Uh, where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Uh, I, 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 Control F, uh, Akane, and I'll just go all the way down. Well, I, I, I can't find it, but, uh, huh. Yeah, I can't, can't find it. But, you, you know, like, it, it, it's different, it's different. And, uh, f wait, hold on, I'm on... Wait, what? 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 
<laughs> okay, I'm on the Zero Escape website and there, the wiki and there's, there are swimsuits. I repeat, there are swimsuits. Why hasn't this been in the game? <laughs> I will say that for later, but uh, anyway. What the fuck? You killed me! Killed? I guess technically, you're going to kill me in 45 years from now, but still. Hey, no need to be rude about it. Uh, I didn't kill you. I hit you with the butt of the knife. You're fine. I'm okay? Yes. You and Fi needed to experience a state of crisis. That was the only way. Me and Fi? Yes. I only told you about you, but... We also needed Fi to jump. Now. You know what happens next, right? Um, we go to the moon? Correct. We will be leaving tomorrow, April 14th, 2029. Okay, I, I found it. Uh, the voice of Akane in... Uh, okay, so this one is voice this Akane, who's also voiced in uh, 999 and Zeratan Dilemma, is Reina Strober. And the original voice actress in the 3DS and Vita version originally was... Uh, Ali Hillis. Okay, there you go. There you go. We've nearly finished preparing your shuttle. Only a few last minute checks and additions. You'll be traveling to Rhizome 9 along with three treatment pods. Allison Clover, right? Yes. What about the third one? Who's in there? Fine. We put her into cold sleep two days ago. She appeared at our headquarters and volunteered to be frozen. That wasn't the Phi who jumped from point C, though. It was Phi before she jumped from point A to point D. In other words, she was following the same path you are. And she still is. Then that means after you froze her, the point C version of her jumped back into her body? Yes. The point C version of Phi is sleeping in that pod. She'll stay there for the next 45 years. Sleeping in ice. Then when she gets to point B, her consciousness will jump to point A, right? Correct. Huh. So that's why she didn't look old. So why don't you just stick me in one of those pods? We can't do that. Why not? You haven't figured it out? You have to spend the next 45 years working on the AB project. After arriving at Rhizo 9, you must master genetic engineering and artificial intelligence programming, among other disciplines. Otherwise, you will be unable to create Kyle, Luna, and Lagomorph. And, of course, you will need to develop the chromatic doors and the bracelets. You will also be the person who summons Tenmyoji and Quark. Oh god, I would hate to be in Sigma's shoes right now. <laughs> like, spend 45 years of your life just doing this. Technically to save the world, but still just like 45 years more than half your life Once you've completed all the preparations then the project can actually begin January 25th 2074 You will defrost Phi and carry her to the third a B room 
Once you've done that, the 22-year-old version of you from point A will force you out. And you'll just go back 45 years to your own body on December 25th, 2028. And then I changed history? Do you really think I can keep the virus from getting out? You have to. If you don't, billions of people will die. Only you and Fi can save them. What about you? Aren't you an Esper too? I can't do anything on my own. If this is going to work, I'll need your help. You know, it kind of sucks that they, they didn't make this like a 3D model. It's just like, it's just a picture. So, what do I need to do? What do you mean? Like, what specific actions do I need to take? When Fi and I jump to point A, what are we going to do then? You'll both enter the Mars mission test site. And after that? I don't know. What? I'm sorry. I really don't know anything about what happens in there. We don't know how the Radical Six escaped. We don't even know why it was there in the first place. Ah, oh, crap. Then we're screwed. That's why we need your help. You have the ability to jump through time and across parallel worlds. We need you to figure out what happened in that test facility. Things will be difficult. And I'm sure you will find yourself in a great deal of danger. But I believe the two of you can overcome any obstacle. Wait. How do you know it's, it's so dangerous? The 67-year-old version of you told me what happened. He wasn't able to stop the virus. So I suppose you could say you told me after you failed. Um, what did he... What did I say? That the test facility is full of traps. There was one point, a woman's life was in danger. You risked yourself for her sake, and lost your arms, and your right eye. My arms and my right eye? What the hell?! Suddenly, a roll, low rumble shook the building. What? What was that? Go have a look. I moved slowly to the window and peered outside. On the horizon, I could see a massive mushroom cloud climbing slowly toward the sky. Would I... Would we really be able to change the course of history? No. That was wrong. That was the wrong way to look at it. It couldn't be a question. I had to change history. We could save the world. Save the cheerleader. You saved the world. <laughs> I'm going to change history. I started at the darkening skies. I stared at the darkening skies above us and steeled myself. I would succeed. End or beginning fire and ice so we're gonna continue on okay hey uh and we're beginning 
Wait. Oh, oh, I like I was a bit confused like wait what but uh, we're gonna continue on down to here the Infirmary another time and it's continue after Fi's ending so let's go Hey, I have a voice. Finally. I see you finally woken up, Kyle. And I'm not Sigma anymore. I'm Kyle. Kyle. Ah, uh, yes. Of course. You've only just woken up in this timeline. It's only natural for some of your memories to be missing. I lurched up. Uh, I lurched upright. Jumped off the bed and ran around to the other side of the partition. The mirror over the sink was covered with a film of dirt. I wiped off my sleeve and my reflection stared back at me. There was no mistake. The reflection belonged to Kyle Klein. So is Sigma in the body of Kyle Klein because um like when it came to this point when I originally played it I was very confused like am I playing like is this like the character Kyle Klein that that's in like we're still in Kyle are we in are we the mind of Sigma in the body of Kyle Klein or is this just entirely Kyle Klein is that the entire person that we're playing as right now so I'm Dr. Klein zero seniors clone what how do you know that shouldn't you still be suffering from amnesia an excellent question when I didn't quite know the answer to myself. I knew who Kyle Klein was. In another history, he had been called K and wore an assumed armor. Okay, so at this point, it has to be Sigma in the mind the mind of Sigma inside of Kyle. It has to be, right? He hadn't just worn the armor in that history though. Apparently, he wore it all his life. Kyle had been born and raised in the lunar installation, which seemed to be called Rhizo 9. Rather late in his life, Akane had appeared as mother figure, and he had consequently grown very attached to her. I knew everything about him, but even though I knew it, I didn't feel it. Was I really Kyle Klein? Every time I looked in the mirror, I saw his face. Displaying image of Sigma Klein in his younger days. See, and now, like, there, just like, now, is he, like, like, he seemed like, like, Sigma, like, if it's Sigma, 22 year old Sigma, he's talking to himself, like, in a like, third person, I guess. I looked down. There was Dio still handcuffed. And here, only Sigma would know this, not Kyle. Because, like, there was Dio still handcuffed. Kyle wouldn't know that, only Sigma would know. I turned back around to Luna. What day is today? January 27th, 2074. Today is the last day of the AB project. Akane has explained everything in the garden. And she drew a knife and attacked Phi. How long have I been asleep? About five hours in real time. For them, it would have seemed like a little more than two hours. So they still haven't been treated for their Radical Six? No, they've all been given the antiviral. It just takes a while to have an effect. I see. 
So the consciousness of the younger Sigma has gone back into the past. It should have happened right after Akane attacked Phi, right? Yes. Why am I here? The doctor carried you back here. Okay, so Sigma's conscious is in 2029? 20, or is it back to. Tw like, I like this stuff, but I freaking hate it because it's so. It's hard to understand. So is he back in 2029 or 2028 or or or, or on Christmas Eve Wh whichever You were in the pod in the garden So the person you call the doctor is Sigma Klein as inhabited by his age appropriate consciousness Yes, but How do you know that? Dio seems to have remained unconscious. Cal wouldn't know about Dio. Only Sigma just. Yes. <laughs> I've been administering Soparil whenever he gets restless. What about the others? They've all gone off to different areas. Ten Miyoji and Quark, for instance. Oh. And PEC. Um, right! Mr. Klein! So the sleepyhead's finally up, huh? What are you two doing here? You don't know where we are? This is the upper floor of the pressure exchange chamber. The real one. Mm-hmm. We were just about to get dressed and head out. You plan to return then? To Earth, I mean. Yeah. Sigma told us where we could find the shuttle that brought us here. Well, guess he's not really the Sigma I knew anymore. He's Dr. Klein now, or, or Zero Senior, depending on how you look at it. Why? What do you mean, why? Um, well... I'm just curious why you would choose to return to a devastated planet when you could stay here. How's staying here gonna help? You aren't going to say something idiotic about how we should wait here until Sigma changes the past, are you? You can't wait for something that's already happened. Grammar doesn't work that way. Hell, nature doesn't work that way. You following me? We've already lived through history. Sigma failed to keep the virus from getting out. About 45 years ago, Radical Six created a pandemic, and the antimatter reactors blew up. That all happened. Whatever Sigma does in the past, history's not gonna change. In fact, it's because of what he did, or didn't do in the past, that we've got this past and present. Let me give you an example. Imagine a group of 100 motorcycles driving down an endless freeway. Eventually, they hit a junction. The road splits in two. One freeway continues off northwest, and the other stretches out to the northeast. So one guy, we'll call him S, pipes up. Let's go northwest, he says. So they take the northwestern road. But about a mile past the intersection, something horrible happens. A semi driving the other way veers into their lane and plows through the bikers. Ninety of them die. The surviving ten are wounded, but survive. They don't stop, though. They keep riding down that highway, and eventually, they'd gone 10,000 miles. Then suddenly, something happens that they couldn't have predicted. S, who had survived, suddenly has his consciousness thrown back in time. He ends up back in his own body, just before they reach the junction. He remembers everything. So what does S do? What anybody would do? Let's go northeast. That means all 100 of the bikers survive to reach their destination happy and healthy. And they all live happily ever after. That's what you're thinking, right? It's a great outcome for the 100 bikers that went northeast. But what about the 10 that went northwest and survived the accident? Huh? Wouldn't it be nine people? I mean, S's mind went back in time, right? Uh, right. Okay. Nine people, then. What happens to the reality they were living? 
Does it just disappear when S changes the past? It's not as if it was only bad things that happened during that 10,000 mile trip. Maybe one of them fell in love with a woman working at a gas station they stopped at and had a child. Maybe one of them picked up a homeless kid who joined them on their adventure. That 10,000 mile journey would be full of stories. Friendships, farewells, romances. The loss of those 90 lives is horrible and unfortunate. But what would rewriting their history mean? The nine who survived lived full lives. How can it be right to just erase all that? The survivors overcame their own misery and loss and made the best they could of the hand they'd been dealt. Isn't that worth something? Isn't that the best thing that humans can aspire to? Is there really any point to a world where everything is happy? Are people who struggle for a better life just idiots? Being human is about fighting, even when it seems hopeless, and finding happiness even in a world that hates it. Are you saying that's worthless? If you're saying rewriting the past will erase all these other timelines, then whatever God wrote those rules can f <sighs> Look, I'm just not going to accept that, all right? You get it? If Sigma changes the past, then you and Quark will never meet. I is he right? No. <laughs> it's not going to happen. We're here right now. This is reality. Even if Sigma does change the past, we're not just gonna disappear or something. Oh! Then that means we get to stay together? <sighs> Good. Thanks, kid. I understand how you feel. Why you want to return to Earth is clear. You have lives there, I imagine. There are likely people waiting for you. Right. Uh-huh. Have you already said goodbye to the others? Bye, Luna, Alice, and Clover all saw us off. We told them we'd see them again someday, and then came here. They were the only people you want to say goodbye to? No, no point saying anything to Dio. Besides, he's asleep. You were asleep too. Sorry, but we didn't really know much about you. You have a point. Akane was in the armor in this timeline, after all. What about Sigma? Well, he's not really Mr. Sigma anymore. Of course. He is Dr. Klein now that his consciousness has returned. Yeah, but more importantly, he's the guy who brought us all here. Not a lot of warm feelings there, you know? And... Akane? Never mind her. She's just like him. She changed. Not the Akane I knew. She must have seen some pretty awful things over the years. Hell, she might not even be human anymore. But the Akane Kurashiki I know isn't here. She's not anywhere. In the end, Clover and I were just pawns. Pawns to be used and then gotten rid of. Still, it's not like we we're completely resentful. We had to be here to help change the past. That part's easy to understand. But... Kinda sucks, though. I mean, Sigma and Phi have it easy. They get to go back to December 25th in 2028. They'll stop the Radical Six and save the world, and then they'll have a nice, normal future to look forward to. In other words, they get to go back to point E and just enjoy history like it was supposed to happen. But we don't. We're stuck with point C as our starting point. You told us about Ten Miyoji's story, right? The one with the motorcycles? It would be like if Alice and I were kidnapped right before the intersection. 
Then whoever grabbed us takes us to wherever the bikers are going, 10,000 miles to the northwest. Don't get us wrong. We know why we had to be here. Without us, S's consciousness wouldn't have been able to go back to right before the intersection. If that couldn't happen, then the fate of those 90 dead bikers would be sealed. But... It's still not the best situation for those of us left in the Northwest. We're stuck in the reality where the 90 bikers died. Are we just supposed to go live on Earth? It's a wasteland now. And what about our friends and families? We left a whole world behind 45 years ago. Even if it is for the greater good? It just doesn't seem fair, does it? Yeah, it's a little bit much. So we went and talked to the old lady. She told us that there is one way. One way we could get back to the past. Let's say you do go back to the past. Wouldn't that cause your minds to get thrown back here? That seemed to be how Sigma and Phi's jumps worked, at least. Yes, you're right. But this is different. Different? How so? From what she said, it sounds like there's a way we can send our bodies back in time, too. <laughs> That's ridiculous. A time machine? Has to be. It would create a paradox. How could you have two Clovers and two Alices at the same time? But that wouldn't happen. Akane says there's a way around that. Have the... these... Akane... Alice and Clover travel back to the time where after they've been sent to space, I guess, and they can live their lives on Earth. How on Earth does she plan to do that? Schrodinger's cat. Huh? Oh, hey, Kyle. What? 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 Figured you'd come here eventually. Where's Dr. Klein? Luna said you were with him. He said he was tired, so he's off resting right now. There's a bedroom at the end of the hallway. He's in there if you're curious. Oh, right. He told me to turn on this hologram projector thing when you showed up. Want me to start it? Sh sure. Glad to see you. There isn't anything in particular that I have to tell you. However, I imagine there are a great number of things weighing on your mind. I'd love to answer all your questions, but unfortunately, my circumstances make that an impossibility. I hope you can forgive me. Everything I know, Vi should also know. I have instructed her to answer any questions anyone might have. Anyone other than Kyle, that is. What does he mean, other than Kyle? Who knows? Is there anything you want to ask? Well, right, well, I guess I may as well cut to the chase. Just who are you, Fi? I'm not Superman, that's for sure. Oh, God dang it, she's doing this again! <laughs> and I'm not Batman, or Spider-Man, or Aquaman, or a Merman, or a Wolfman. Did, 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 did DC or Marvel just get this? She's like, hey, hey, you're using our proper names. You can't do that. <laughs> but they probably don't care because, like, Japanese or, like, it's a niche game, so I don't know. I'm not a Brahmin or Common or Ramen. I'm not a Cayman either, so you really don't need to worry about anything. Why can't you be a Ramen? I want to eat you up. <laughs> Please don't dodge the question. About five hours ago, Akane attacked you with a knife. That triggered something which sent your mind back to the past, correct? Specifically, you were sent to point D, April 13th, 2029. On that date, your body was already in Akane's custody. Although by then you were in cold sleep. You wouldn't have regained consciousness, but your mind was now inhabiting that body. That pod was your home for 45 years. You slept there, frozen, 
until the time was right. I really wonder, what would it be like to just sleep for 45 years? So like, like, well, would you mind to just like, like when you go to sleep, and then when you just wake up, it's suddenly like in the future, like, or or it's like something else, or like you you can actually feel like you're you you've been asleep for a long time. Then on January 25th, 2074, you were finally thawed out. Even though you didn't wake up. Still unconscious, you were carried to the AB room. That was when your consciousness changed bodies again. A version of you from December 25th, 2028 arrived, pushing you out. And sending you back to December 25th, 2028. This is when you finally woke up. In 2028, you found and joined forces with Sigma, whose older mind was inhabiting his younger body. Together, you attempted to infiltrate the Mars Mission Test Facility. Unfortunately, your plan failed. The Radical Six did escape on New Year's Eve. That failure determined the path you followed. Instead of going along the line that branches out to the right from point E, you headed straight to point D. Point D being April 13th of the following year. That was the day that you made your way to Akane's hideout and asked to be put into one of the treatment pods. Another consciousness enters your body around that time from the future. It is, of course, the version of you that left your body when Akane attacked you in the garden. This caused the two versions of you to swap places. And you moved 45 years into the future where you woke up on the garden floor. That put you on the line that comes here. So if we discount the time you spent in cold sleep, for you, only three and a half months have passed since that happened. That being when you were sent back into the past from the garden. Have I missed anything? No, everything you talked about, you got right. Well, what do you mean by that? I'm kind of an unknown variable in this equation. You could think of me as a kind of... X factor. It's taken me the last three and a half months to understand it. I barely understand it through these few weeks. I haven't understood anything in the last three and a half seconds. <laughs> Could you please explain? It's kind of like the relationship between classical mechanics and modern physics. Strictly speaking, you can't combine velocities with V1 plus V2. V1 plus V2 divided by 1 plus V1 times V2 over C squared is the actual equation. Heh. <laughs> of course, the sort of velocities we encounter in day-to-day -day life don't come close to being C squared, which is the speed of light squared. Heh. <laughs> that means that 1 plus V1 times V2 divided by C squared is usually going to evaluate to something pretty close to 1. <laughs> Since that would mean dividing by one, it's usually okay to just skip that step and use V1 plus V2. You see what I'm saying? In most situations, it works, even if it isn't technically correct. So you knew enough to get the stuff you were talking about right. As long as you stick to that, you won't run into any problems. I don't quite understand. I don't understand it at all. In fact... I feel like you're dodging my questions. So is that what you wanted to ask about? No. What I really want to know is what happened between Christmas and New Year's Eve in 2028. You and Sigma infiltrated the Mars mission test site, didn't you? Yes. What happened there? How did Sigma lose his eye and both his arms? And why was Radical Six in there in the first place? What could a deadly virus have to do with a simulated mission to space? Sorry, but I can't tell you that. Why? Because... 
It would change history. There is a history where the virus didn't escape. That's the line that goes to the right of point E. In that timeline, humanity isn't heading for annihilation, and Earth isn't red. The future is much brighter. But if I tell you what you're asking me right now, then that reality will disappear. You understand? I don't. Why would all of that disappear if you told me what I want to know? You're about to go back to the past, right? The past? Don't be silly. I can't do that. Then we're just listen to you tell me a bunch of things you shouldn't have known about. The only things that Sigma would know about. You were sleeping in the pod in the garden. You just woke up. So how can you know all this? You know my past. Sigma's past. Sigma has to be in the mind of Kyle. I shall give you your answer. You are not Kyle Klein. Your body is Kyle's, but your consciousness is not. Think about it. Do you really believe you are Kyle? It has to be Sigma. Or could you be someone else entirely? Ah! Then where is the real Kyle's consciousness? He was thrown out when you entered. Then who is it? Right now, in a manner of speaking, he has arrived at December 25th, 2028. His consciousness has gone into a body from that time. I doubt you know how much the doctor loves Kyle. He raised him on his own. Kyle is irreplaceable. Do you really think he would go back to the past and leave Kyle behind here? I know what I told the others. That Kyle was Dr. Klein's spare. But that was not his only purpose. Kyle's consciousness is integral to what we are trying to accomplish. This new mission begins on Christmas and ends on New Year's Eve 2028. Its purpose will be to infiltrate the test facility and prevent the spread of the virus. For this to happen, Kyle is absolutely necessary. And that is why he created him? Yes. So now that my consciousness has entered his body, the doctor has achieved his objective. Kyle has gone back to 2028 to participate in his mission. Correct. There's one thing that troubles me. Kyle was created before reaching point B from point D. That means his body did not exist on Christmas in 2028. Does that mean he has entered my body? Have we just switched places? I suppose you could put it that way, yes. And, and you know what? I just... It sounds like a Connie has, this, has some kind of like English accent or something like that. I hear an accent coming from the old Connie. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it too. I feel like she has an accent or something. That's ridiculous. What's going to happen to me? You're telling me I have to spend the rest of my life here in this box? Living in a borrowed body? No, not at all. You can travel freely through time and space. You are an uncontrolled variable. 
that entered our closed system. As such, the rules of this world do not apply to you. I, I have no idea what... Please don't try to play dumb. I know what you are. Surely you must know by now, too. No. No, I don't. You are about to go into the past and save the world. Phi and Sigma, even with all of his future knowledge, will need your help. Only you can right the horrible wrongs of our past. Only you can save the world. There's no way I... Yes, there is. You have to. Don't you want to know the truth? Don't you want to know what happened in between Christmas and New Year's Eve in 2028? Well, yes, I do, but... Then you must believe. Reality is shaped by what we believe reality should be. If observation can change the motion of a particle, then how is it odd to think that human thought can shape reality? Your will can change history. The world will be reshaped into the one you imagine. Remember what I've told you. Only you can change history. Only you can save the world. Alternate and a certain viewpoint. Cool. We found it. We then this we platinum the game. It's the end. Kinda J just so just like alternate end. There, there you go. There, there there's your ending. It just there's still lots of questions lots of questions need to be answered oh boy oh boy we're just gonna save and there we go 49 hours of this game Another time alternate end And there we go That was Zero escape Virtue's last reward this game, I, I absolutely love this game. I absolutely do. But there's so much questions that needs to be asked. There's so much questions that needs to be answered. And just like, uh, just like, and it, it's like, I love, I love, I like the time travel stuff. Like, in all these puzzles and questioning stuff. But like, just give me straightforward answers. Like, please. Like, like it, it's so difficult to like, wrap my head around all this. Just like, I love it. But just give me a straight answer. What is what is the answer to this? Don't 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 give me just, just don't give me those Yoda type answers. Just like, uh, uh. oh boy. Well, like the puzzles are great. Like they're hard because I play them on hard. But that was because I need to get 100%. But hey, we plan them the game. That's awesome. Even though it doesn't, it won't show up on screen because friggin' PlayStation's like it blocks like screen, it blocks the trophy that pops up. 
so that's the thing but uh yeah we are done with Virtue's Laughs reward and uh well and well what the tile really that doesn't really make sense but I guess I think it is an anagram for something uh if I can just look it up real quick uh, versus last reward what's the meaning of the title just all that stuff uh it's a weird because like in Japan it's called extreme escape adventure good people die what what kind of name is that? Just like extreme escape adventure. Good people die. Like that 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 does not sound like a good you know title. You know. But you know. Uh, if I can look at title. Uh. Yeah, yeah, th that that doesn't really do anything. Nothing on the on the <laughs> uh, uh on the wiki. It just like just search it up. Uh, so uh, it, so it's basically virtue's last reward means death or something like that so I, I guess just like mm. uh, yeah <laughs> th 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 this game was fun this game was absolutely fun I've, I'm glad I picked up the Naughty Games collection Platinum it said that before uh, <laughs> Some of the endings were kind of crap, like Clover is just like, oh hey, everyone got infected with Rackle Six and killed each other. We don't know where Kay is, just like, oh, who cares? Don't know what happened to Quark. Don't know what. <laughs> and like, oh hey, uh, uh, Akane's gonna bring us back and bring, uh, Alice and Clover back in time. How's he gonna do that? Shogun is cat. How does that work? I don't know. Just like, oh hey. Is it, are they alive or are they dead? Where? I don't know. Just, huh? And like, uh, what, what send me OG and uh, Quark gonna do while at home? Like, on Earth? Don't know. Uh, and what's gonna happen to Dio? Just like, oh hey, yeah, Dio's still here. Uh, is he just gonna be trapped here forever? Is he gonna, like, be executed? Like, don't know what's gonna be happening to Dio. Just like, oh, uh, we 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 just put him like uh, under, you know, in case he you know gets rally, Wiley. Yeah, you know, like lots of questions that's never been answered. Is, uh, oh well. But uh, next time when we. Uh, visit the Zero Escape series. It will be Zero Escape Zero Time Dilemma, which will be releasing on August 18th. Will I stream on that day when it comes out? Maybe. Maybe. If it doesn't have uh, block scenes. Because I really hope it doesn't. <laughs> I will be pissed off if it does cuz then I can't freaking stream it. I can't send off to you guys uh, But hopefully they don't uh, I send a message to uh, I think Axis games who, who are the developers of it. They have not messaged me back so like and I and I just in case I also message uh Spike Chunsaw. They said, Oh we don't we don't do anything in game. Ask Spike Chunes ask uh Axis. They have not contacted me contacted me. But uh we'll know when uh 
we actually get our hands on the game and you know all that stuff but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed Virtual Slash Reward Real Blast streaming this game for the past few months weeks or so <laughs> it was a blast but uh oh, just realized they, they didn't really uh, update the Portraits. Yeah. Yeah, kind of, kind of, kind of bad quality. But anyways, like, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you're on Twitch, don't forget to follow so you guys can get notified of when I stream. Be either via email or uh, notifications on your phone or mobile devices, or whatever. If you're on YouTube, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, share with all your friends. Check out links in the description below for all my social media links like Facebook, Twitter, uh, Patreon, Discord, Twitch, Twitch, follow the channel. And I will see you guys maybe in Zero Time Dilemma. I'll see you guys then. Power out. Yeah.